Hello, hello. Welcome to what is the final episode of Mitrat Plays Not a Hero. Um, we're going to move on to the final mission. There's the dog mooning us or maybe farting in our face. It's election day tomorrow, team. We need one final press blowout to really get the voters on side. What better way to round off an election campaign than finishing the city's most infamous crime boss in her rooftop gardens? Admittedly, rabbits are not renowned for their incredible swordsmanship. <laughs> so I'll need your help. Looks like he's got the buster sword. Look at that thing, that's fucking badass. What's up, Cloud? I'll engage a Kemi in honorable sword-based combat, but if it looks like I'm going to lose, it would be awe-inspiring if you could spinal shootage, engage her in some less honorable gun-based shooting. You know, even up the odds. Even up the odds, yeah. If we can defeat a Kemi, we'll have done a shocking murder on every crime boss in town. I don't know if we want to call it murder. Maybe assassination? The people will love us, and I'll get elected for sure. Let's go kill a Kemi Unagi. Fair. I mean, our approval rating is 55. So we're going to unlock Clive if we beat this. Um, I don't know if I'll... I don't... I don't know if I'll uh, continue to play that my controller was all fucked right there. Let's see here. This is actually one of the prettier levels, like that tree is quite pretty. So maybe we just uh, have to make sure We uh, basically defend and then he locks her in battle, does some slappity slap. Oh shit, I didn't fucking see Broham there. I didn't know they were going to come down the goddamn stairwell and stab me right in the rectum. Alright. So I feel, feel like I feel, 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 feel like uh, this is probably Yep, we're going to go shoot her. I don't know how many blasts from a shotgun one person can take, but this seems like too many. Why is she dual wielding, dude? That seems unfair. How many times are we gonna shoot her? We kill her yet? I mean that. Let's get the laser. Shoot her with that. Alright, 
I honestly, I fucking am confused by the number of times this lady can get shot in the back. I feel like we've done our job. Is that it? <laughs> what in the fuck is this Matrix shit? Meow. <laughs> the cat to the face? Ultra violent. Get to the bunny copter. Are we gonna have to fucking deal with any more enemies though? And then he's just gonna teleport. That seems like total bullshit. Of course, the fucking SWAT team shows up. Of course. Not even fucking deal with these guys. Let's just fucking do this. Bunny copter, we out, and that shit glitched. It's the election day, baby. Everybody's got Bunny Lord T-shirts on. I feel like we're probably good to go. You saved the future, Bunny Lord, elected mayor. <laughs> I feel like we were going to get a little bit better ending than that, maybe, but I guess not. So I guess, uh, what'd you think of the game? I mean, all in all, 15 bucks. I'd give it like a 7. Pretty repetitive. Um, the, the writing was good. The sword, you know, the sword. Uh, cardboard sword limited. Yeah, okay. Um, the, the gameplay was pretty good. Uh, the controls, real good. A minus a couple times when I felt like they didn't register and I died because of it which was really frustrating because um, there are no checkpoints which is is interesting um, I like it it makes you fucking care like take your time kind of think about it um, but the, the writing and the story the humor was good at least I thought it was funny some people might think it would think it a little crude or juvenile but I, I laughed um, I think the game looks good I think the environments were a little repetitive everything kind of looked the same there wasn't a whole lot of new mechanics although the, the different characters definitely add a, an element of um, you know kind of newness uh, I do like the unlocks feature unlocking new characters that's pretty cool but overall I'd say probably a 7 to an 8 maybe a 7.5 um, you know, definitely above average. A little pricey for the experience. I probably have four hours into it, which um, you know, isn't too bad. You could get a, you could get more out of it if you if you tried to you know unlock all the characters and 100% the game. You you know you get good 10 hours out of it, and I think 10 hours for 15 bucks is maybe you wouldn't get 10 hours. Maybe you're way better than me, but um, you know I think it's good. The music's good. The presentation's good. Um, I think the pacing's okay. I've heard people say that the pacing isn't great. I would disagree. The I I, I like you know the the humor parts and then the, you know the the um, we did stab a tester. Oh, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think a good game, and would recommend it to people who you know are fans of Roll Seven stuff and whatnot. So uh, another little cutscene here. What a day, Mike! I can't believe that the people actually uh, voted me mayor. Who's that dude? Oh, this is unbelievably mind-blowing. That's the guy that we're going to unlock, I think. I can't wait to start giving away free manatees and implementing legendary incredible new laws. Who the fuck is that dude? Is this like a new game plus? Who the rubbish heck are you? 
I'm Bunny Lord from the future, bro. Hey, dude. I'm you. But from the future. See? I fucking called that! Check out this intensely astounding ethereal jacket I got from somewhere. I assume you didn't come all this way to show me your jacket. It is 100% prize winning staggering, though. Yeah. Not good news, I'm afraid. Turns out that just becoming mayor doesn't actually save the world. What? Are they setting up a sequel here? Or maybe some DLC? Yeah, seriously messed up our chrono calculations. Chrono calculations. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I know it's super rubbish. But we're going to need you to go back in time a bit more. Maybe get elected as something better than mayor? We still get to kill crime in its 100% shameful face, though. Yes. Question mark. Oh, yeah. Should totally beat the cute toe licker out of crime. I'm cool with that. Well, Mike, we should probably get back to it. So we got elected mayor. Um, I guess if we... Oh, so the, the higher, you, you know, the better percentage you get, then you get prime minister, king of England, and then global mega lord. So it's kind of cool how the plant, you know, crawls up. We killed that bitch, dude. She should be crossed off. Anyways, um, overall, guys, again, what did you guys think of the game? What did you think of the series? Hopefully you enjoyed it. I did. Um, I got a little frustrated towards the end. Um, it got a little bit repetitive for me, but I think that was more me being frustrated, not being able to talk about the game, do any commentary, and just wanting to, like, get through the level because I fucking kept dying. So, uh, again... I uh, appreciate the support, and we will catch up with you guys in the next, uh, probably the next Binding of Isaac episode, and then um, I'm thinking maybe starting some Cave Story Plus. Um, the game looks really cool. I know it's old, but uh, I've never played it, and I think it could be fun. Um, Mark of the Ninja looks all right. Uh, Ronin looks all right. Um, I, Mark of the Ninja is old. I've played some of that already, but um, you know, there's a couple things on my radar, but I, th I think maybe Cave Story plus might be the way I go so we'll see again hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did leave a like subscribe comment we'll catch up with you soon bye bye